OK, so hi everyone. So last time we only considered one variable that is uh, either numerical or categorical. So today we are going to have uh, two variables. Yeah, so we have X categorical and we have uh, Y numeric. So how can we uh, conduct the statistics test with those two variables? So let's figure out. So as usual, you go to the Google, you search for GPOP CB122, and then you uh, download the materials. OK, you can so download here and extract the uh, zip file. OK, and then we open our studio. OK, wait a moment. So we have the lecture here and OK, let me see. Yeah. So here it is. So we create a new file. Yeah. And um, uh, as usual, right, we go to session, we set working directory and we choose yeah, the file, the folder we want to open. So our folder is CB122, right? So we just open it. And uh, test two, so we choose this one. OK. So here is our um material we're gonna cover today okay mm, so our question is like for example like we have a uh, y is our salary or our score and x is our gender for example like uh whether the male employees are more than the female co-workers or female students have higher right score than male friends yeah so we're going to test uh, this hypothesis now. OK, so first we need to. Uh, run the packages, right? So we need tidyverse and schema today. OK, so just run it. And next we're going to need the. Yeah, you can see here. The, so it's OK now and we're going to need the uh, uh, data, right? So as the same as uh, last uh, time, we used the data of uh, student uh, scores and other information from US, right? OK, so we load the data. So if you want to look for more information, you can go to this website. And yeah, you can see we have the data here. So um, let's uh, check the first eight uh, rows. OK. So you can see like uh, we have a uh, gender, we have ID, we have a uh, reading, we have writing, right? OK, so this is our data. And this is a summary, OK? Like we're going to have the like descriptive summary, right? For example, like uh, mean, Minimum, max, yeah, the first quantile, the third quantile, and so on. Okay. So our question is, yeah, our question is, uh, now we have two variables, right? Okay. So we're gonna um, test, like. We have different groups in categorical X, like gender, uh, male or female, and whether the numerical data is different from these two groups. OK, for example, like as I mentioned before, do male employees are more than the female co-workers and the second here. OK, so we're going to use the t-test. OK, so t-test, mm, the numerical uh, data and the categorical data, OK, variable, and then we just test it. OK, so you can see the p value is very small, right? It's smaller than 0 0.05, the significance level. So we reject the no hypothesis, and that means we have the difference between uh, male and female in terms of right score. OK, so as you can see, 
group zero mean uh so okay let me show you the data so okay so zero mean not female or male and one means female right okay so uh column zero we have a uh, 50 something right and for female we have 95 right so that means um the score uh, of female is higher than that of male students okay yeah and you can prefer to you can refer to p-value here okay um but there is one problem here what's the problem we can only use t-test under the condition that the y is normally distributed otherwise we cannot use t-test right so first if you want to use uh, this function you need to test whether your y your numerical variable is normally distributed or not 